happy day, it's me again, JC, and welcome to Robot Show Tunes, my very own YouTube channel where I get to review Transformers toys, Voltus 5 toys, Macross or Robot Robotech toys, Evangelion toys, and just about whatever else I may fancy. And in this video, we're going to take a look at New Age Toys, the legendary heroes Hogan, a third-party Legends class representation of G1 Brawn. Now for this and other way cool stuff, Visit Hobby Corner in Shopsville, Green Hills. Now, before we meet Braun, here's the box he came in. Here is the front, the back, one side, the other side, the top, and the bottom. Now, you will notice that he's actually one half of a two-figure box set. So what exactly do you get with this brawn? You have brawn packaged in robot mode. You have Outback also packaged in robot mode. So Outback is a slight retool of brawn. Uh, the only structural differences are in the, the head and the chest. So both of them transform exactly the same way. You get transformation instructions. Both Braun and Outback get these jerry cans that fold out and become very awkward looking blasters. Braun gets a nondescript gun and Outback gets his signature mortar cannon. You also get this die-cast drill for Braun. It can replace either of his hands. And can also be plugged in vehicle mode, which, will I, which I will demonstrate later. You get this die-cast pincer that's meant for Starscream. It can replace either hand. And lastly, you get this die-cast buzzsaw that's meant for Megatron. It can replace either hand, although the fit is quite loose, unfortunately. Okay, enough of that. Now let's talk articulation. The head can turn 360 degrees, but there is no tilt. The arm can extend all the way here and turn or swing round. 360 degrees. The transformation swivel or joint allows the shoulders to sag all the way down there. You can bend the arms 90 degrees at the ball jointed elbow. There's no bicep swivel but you can twist the forearm 360 degrees because of those same elbow ball joints. The wrists hinge inward because of transformation, but do not swivel. Now, if you're willing to break the sculpt, there is a transformation joint that doubles as an ab crunch there. Can actually get you all the way down up to th there. When combined with the crotch hinge, Braun can actually almost tuck his head between his legs. You got T-jointed ball joints for hips, allows for straddle splitting, and something a few degrees shy of grand jeteing. You get thigh swivels that allow 360 degree turns. You can bend the leg 90 degrees at the single hinge knee. And because of transformation, the ankles can swing this far in, but there's no outward swinging though. And also because of transformation, you have those that hinge that far up, although I cannot think of how this helps posability. Anyway, that's it for articulation. Let's move on to size comparisons. 
So here are New Age Outback and Brawn with New Age Bumblebee with DX9 War and Pocket Optimus Prime with Magic Square Toys Huffer with Takara Tomi Transformers Masterpiece Lambor or Sideswipe and after getting shot in the shoulder, he meets Funko Pop Death of the Endless. So, size comparisons all done, let's get Brawn transformed. Alright, transforming Brawn, first what you want to do is to untab his head, like so. Then fold that up and fold the chest piece down like this, and then bring up these pieces, then bring out this piece, and then turn the arm like this so that the exposed part of the ball peg is facing you. Then you swivel, put this here, and then you twist at the forearm, and then you bend at the elbow so that the that part of the window aligns and you fold this in repeat with the other side there and there bend at the elbow fold that in and line this up as best you could well actually that wouldn't matter because you'll need a lot of well here's the clearance issue uh, these gray pegs will slot into those two slots. I, I don't know why they didn't make this a, how you say, let me just demonstrate. So it's like this, this is, these are those pegs, this is the, this is one of the, this is the slot, this is the peg, so you have to bring it around and then slot it. But couldn't it have just been open, so you just, so it just simply slides up. The clearance here is very questionable. So it's like this. And then you have to really... Okay, let's start with one of these. Okay, there. There's one. One pegged in. The other pegged in. Actually transforming, well, it's not difficult, it's just more difficult than it should be. So they're in, line that up as best you could, and once you have your, it'll look like this, turn here at the waist 180 degrees, and from there, grab one arm, or uh, one leg rather, bring it up, then rotate at the thigh swivel until this hinge is exposed, bend at the knee, and then there's this extra swivel at the knee. It's just below the thigh swivel, so bring that up here, then open this up, straighten this out, open this up, tab, tab here goes into the slot there, and there's this slot there that goes to the yellow tab there close this up and you see that there's this uh, always start with this leg because this is the one that has a tab and there's a slot here that will close into that so repeat so rotate at thigh swivel bend at knee bend at the knee swivel open this up Straighten this out, open this up, tab here, tab here, and there is the aforementioned slot, and then it goes in there. And there you have Braun in his vehicle mode. Now, as promised, here is how you peg in the drill bit. It's actually quite simple. There's a slot there. Just plug it in. There. Now, remember that jerry can I showed you earlier? Here it is in blaster mode. So just fold it up and then peg it here. 
So there you have Braun in his vehicle mode. Now that transformation's done, let's compare alt modes. So once again, here are New Age Outback and Braun with New Age Bumblebee, with DX9 Warren Pocket Optimus Prime, with Magic Square Toys Huffer, and with Funko Pop Death of the Endless. Let's wrap things up with my final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. Cons first, there are a lot actually, or quite a, quite a few, but they're mostly nitpicks. So first is that difficult transformation step I mentioned earlier. Also, there's no rear windshield in vehicle mode, which gets minus points for lack of realism. Uh, the wrist hinge could stand being tighter. This would make plugging in their weapons, their guns, a touch easier. And I suspect that New Age went for the exposed hands in vehicle mode design so that Outback's cannon can be mounted on the roof. But I'd actually rather they went with a different mechanism so you can mount the cannon dead center on the roof. Well, moving forward, you have accessories that have nothing to do with the characters that come in this box set. Megatron, Starscream. Uh, and these same accessories could have been done with cheaper materials instead of die-cast. Seriously, these things aren't that spectacular enough for the die-cast treatment. Um, maybe the biggest nit to pick is packaging these two together. It's probably New Age's most obvious, obvious cash grab. Uh, Braun and Outback have no real ties except for sharing the same mold. Uh, Braun's a pre-movie character who never even meets Outback. So, uh, I think ideally Perceptor should have been the second figure, but yeah, he isn't exactly a mini warrior. Or actually just any one of the pre-film mini bots would do. Uh, pros, on the other hand, there are fewer, but uh, I guess they do outweigh the cons. Uh, you have uh, tune accurate colors, designs, and silhouettes. The, these mini bots have around the same number of articulation points as the slightly larger car bots, the, the Dotson Brothers, Jazz, um, and I don't know why, but these guys are just so much fun to transform back and forth. You've got wheels that actually spin, even the spare tire on the roof spins, which is actually unrealistic and unnecessary, but whatever. Anyway, final word, this is so much fun. These two are so much fun. Uh, the cons are just minor annoyances to me. Otherwise, these figures, especially Braun, are pure joy. Uh, get these if you love Braun, even though you don't care a whit for Outback. I think he's worth it. Anyway, we've reached the end of our tune. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to this channel and like Robot Show Tunes on Facebook if it so please you. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you at the theater.